Tulane's quarterback, Michael Pratt, completed eight passes. Eight passes in the game. I think a lot of people emerged with, how the heck did we lose to that team? Let's let's talk about what did happen. There you go. Tulane. Roll wave. Unbelievable Cotton Bowl. Absolutely unbelievable Cotton Bowl. Um, they are trailing 45-30 with 4.07 remaining to USC. And it looked like they really played hard, and it was kind of disappointing. I, you don't want to see these teams get there, their big chance, and finally um, and fall apart. But touchdown, dropped kickoff, one-yard line. USC runs the ball twice, I think, right? And gets stuffed for the safety. Just like the one thing you couldn't have happen. They take the ball out of Caleb Williams hands. Then in 23 seconds, Tulane rolls down the field, takes, uh, takes the victory on the, on the last second, uh, or almost the last second pass. One of the most amazing comebacks you'll ever see. One of the most exciting games you'll ever see. Uh, one of the worst defeats you'll ever see and one of the very victories you ever see so the green wave which once left the sec voluntarily because they didn't want to be a part of all that um is back winning major bowl games ross you're our two lane you're our two lane expert they won two games last year won 12 this year it's a remarkable yeah the whole thing's a remarkable story this is this was their first uh major bowl victory since 1934 so i mean it's crazy, like almost 100 years, 80, 89 years, 88 years or so um, from the last time that they did something like this. Uh, and of course, at the time, you know, they were part of the SEC then. Uh, and I think that was the Sugar Bowl that they were playing in. Uh, it, it's been an incredible season by them. It, it's kind of, it's got like a, to me, it's got like a TCU kind of feel to it. I mean, you know, it's a, a smaller private school um, that, that, you know, historically when you go back decades hasn't had a ton of success that's put together just this like incredibly magical season and somehow finds ways to win i think a lot of a lot of teams emerge from their game against tcu uh like we said over the weekend like how did we lose to that team saying how do we lose to that team and i think i think a lot a lot of people emerge from a game against tulane kind of saying the same uh uh, now their running back Ty Chase Spears is incredible. I mean, he had over 200 yards and four, four touchdowns against USC. Um, but I mean, yeah, Tulane's quarterback Michael Pratt completed eight passes, uh, eight passes in the game. Now over for t- over 200 yards, he hit a couple of long bombs. But uh, I think a lot of people emerge with, "How the heck did we lose to that team?" They just they seem to find ways to win. I think I think uh, Lincoln. Riley said after the game that it was, I can't remember exactly his quote, but it was something like it was the worst loss he's ever took or the, the, uh, the worst feeling after a loss or something that he's ever had. Uh, I think a lot of people feel that way. As if the people in Oklahoma couldn't hate him more. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like you lost the double overtime game to Georgia. You blew this. I mean, like, yeah. come on. There was a stat. I think it was from ESPN stats and info. I wish I could remember exactly what it was, but it was an absurd stat that, Lincoln Riley coach teams with double digit leads, how often that they lose those games. It it was it, I'll have to maybe later in the pod I can track it down, but it was an incredible stat. Yeah, I, I saw it in person twice against Utah. They did it twice this year. So uh yeah, this this was just astonishing. I mean, it was unbelievable, like in every in every way. First of all, the very concept of Tulane going to the Cotton Bowl, going 12 and 2 beating USC. What? And then the, the the fact specifically that's coming off of last year when I had really thought like, oh my gosh, the bloom is off the Willie Fritz Rose. That that thing's falling apart. Mm, maybe not. But then the specifics of this game to be behind by 15 points with less than five minutes to play and to come back to win. And the last drive was just in, I mean, it was so riveting. It was unbelievable unbelievably riveting drama to score that way and to win that game and to have that season. Just that's what college football is, is just incredible. Uh, that stat, by the way, uh, real quick, Dan, that stat, uh, Lincoln Riley has now lost six games when holding a lead of at least 14 points since becoming a head coach in 2017. So it averaged over one a year 
um, you know, basically of his head coaching career that he had a, at least a, a 14 point, so not, not even double figures, but two touchdown lead and lost the game six times. It's the most in the FBS over that span. Once the uh, the script ends, the offense stalls, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. 